Well, what's up, YouTube? This is Colony Foreman Two Two One, and today we're continuing the Seleucid Empire campaign. So, you look right now. I have Memphis under siege. It only has four turns left, and their faction leaders inside. And keep in mind, they've gone through a lot of faction leaders because I've killed most of them. And there's their faction heir. So pretty soon, they're gonna run out of people. I think that's their last three guys. Meanwhile, on the by Palestine, I'm Set. sending these troops to attack this last attack. Egyptian city. And it looks like they have a fair amount of troops, but um, I'll fare pretty good against these guys. Got some Nile spearmen, a uh, slinger, skirmishers, and Egyptian chariots and peasants. So meanwhile, this spy will come down and attempt, or actually get a 100% chance to get inside this city, along with my other spy there. So they're not doing so hot with their population, like these people are about to riot. And I'm working on building stuff like chariots here. I already have some chariots, so we're going to end the turn. Bring some troops back, moving troops around. My spy get, gets kicked out, of course, I don't know why. Just randomly they get kicked out. He actually got kicked out of the siege of Memphis, so they chased him out of the city around to my troops. He's 16 and he has a beard. Like a full beard. Okay, so now we're gonna look for some some settlement that is under auto control. Nope, they all have rulers, so I'm gonna bring him down to Jerusalem. And then he's gonna get that city. He's gonna become the governor of that city. Meanwhile, I built a lot of sewers, archery range, and the main thing I'm looking at would be the barracks here. So I can actually build an army barracks. But when I get the royal barracks, that is when I can make my legions. I'm not sure if there are two turns or not to make them, but I'm gonna focus on my archery range now. So now that I have, um, I don't really need as much cavalry. I'm going to start making really good infantry, and then they're going to be supported by chariots. And not much of this happened, just some random announcements. And a turn report, I still made money. Oh, these are big. I'm making cataphracts here, and they're upgraded, and I, my elephants just need to be retrained. They're going to be retrained too. So cataphracts take a long time. But uh, my other cities can produce more troops. And that's a governor's palace from Egypt. So these people are still really happy, but to make them even better, more happy, we're gonna build them baths. I'm trying to keep my people happy and under control. Like, I'm gonna build a sewer here first, and then build my archery range. And it's really not. I'm just going to assault this. It's not worth showing. It's going to be a one sided battle. Great, I lost 23 guys. Exterminate the population. I captured a wonder. What that does is it makes the Egyptians more happy towards me for taking their pyramids. I don't really know why, but it works. Okay, I want to repair the two buildings that got damaged. But I got a lot of money from that. So we're gonna build a sewer, make people happy. Let's see, we can actually retrain my units here. So I'm gonna train my archers, my cavalry can even be more retrained. And I'm just, we're just gonna keep it at normal tax rate. Yes. Seventy-five percent chance, and I think my spy died. Yeah. So all the Egyptian cities are under siege, except Thebes right now. My lord, investigating. I think they might have a spy in the city. I don't really know. But um, my army, I don't want to really depart it yet, because I've got to make lots of troops. I don't know, Egypt, what's ever left of Egypt's navy is still, like, trying to hurt me economically. We just got attacked by a giant pirate and okay let's auto resolve this victory, victory! There it is. 
uh, three star sea captain admiral anyway what happened to this guy again oh coming of the age so we know he's 16 he's running one of my cities interesting I'm gonna click on this and we have two people so I'm gonna take you. I'm bringing my generals down to help manage all my cities. And this guy is going to Jerusalem. But I have him join this army if there's time. And there's no real mercenaries worth recruiting right now. Wow, this city is full of army. And look at that. Faction leader coming to attack me. Oh no, these cities are huge. Well, I'm starting to. I have good. I have a ton of pikemen, so if I bring cavalry. I'm actually. I'm gonna disband some of my hoplites. They're not very good, and it's not really worth keeping the garrison big. Somehow it makes my money go negative for doing that. Anyway, I'm going to... Their faction air wants to get in here. That's their faction leader. So it looks like they're gathering all their forces that they can on here. Their um, they're generals, because everyone else is under siege. And didn't they have a general in there? No, I don't think so. They might have had a general at one point. Anyway, time to end the turn. I'm going to definitely show you the battle of Thebes. We are and it looks like Pontus we is messing besieged. around with me. And I don't really appreciate it. Like, I'm trying to kill Egypt, who would conquer them. And they just attacked two of my possessions. I'm going to show this battle, because I'm going to crush these skulls. <laughs> okay. Yes, yeah, I've got elephants too. It's on. No more auto resolve. So what's key is being able to get my reinforcements with my regular army because if they're separate, I will be destroyed. It's like the reinforcements off auto resolve. I mean auto, like the CPU control it because they messed up all my troops last time and got a lot of them killed for no reason. Let's march around the city and get all your troops shot by towers. If you can smell something okay, this is like my grand army of cavalry. I've got, well, I mean, besides my Greek cavalry, I've got elephants, I've got cataphracts. Reinforcements have arrived. My army's coming in from that corner. I'm going to march my troops to that corner. So, I have the cavalry base here of my army, and they're coming on the hill. I have my cavalry army right now, and then all my infantry is coming from the sea to support me. So it looks like they have a lot of Eastern infantry and some chariots, which might be a little problem. Lots of... Okay, so I better... I'm a pike unit. I better tell them to run, too. Any troops that get on really need to run now. So right now I'm commanding my troops to get out of Phalanx formation and charge. This unit, one of my Phalanx Pikeman units, and my city can't come out. I can only have 20 units on the battlefield at a time, so. It's about to go militia hoplites. So, right now, I'm gonna, just gonna triple speed and nothing's happening. I'm just getting all my troops on the battlefield. Okay, it looks like no movement so far from the enemy. I don't know why those guys are hanging back there. Let's get my little baby elephants. Apparently they're expensive, but we've got three of them and they have upgraded on armor. Uh, I should probably put them in my phalanx. Uh, too. 
So, tactics right now. Right now, I'm trying to get my army into a sensible formation. It's lagging a little bit because I'm uploading a video to YouTube. I think it's part 11 or so. I keep back on my, like, I want to give you guys stuff when I don't have time to record. Okay, now my grand army is going to march forward at 6 frames per second. I don't know why, well let me march forward in my formation. I just spent a long time on that formation. So we're marching uphill. I'm just gonna keep these guys in the line. Behind my main infantry, but ready to use. These elephants also have experience. Those were the ones that the computer killed. They weren't compelled to killed originally. Like I had to refight a battle. Auto resolved it, I didn't want to fight it again really. So these are my these guys look cool, but they're not very good. So I have mostly these guys, lovey pikemen. I've got well, the Chahaba, who even worse than them, and then I've got some silver shields. Silver shields on the left, and one on the right. So, I mean, not silver shields, phalanx pikemen. I don't know, it's kind of annoying, perhaps it's lagging me, so it's kind of hard to fight. Not getting fights with them yet. Okay, let's talk about Pontus. I went to the Egyptian campaign, like I've told you. I made three prongs, and I killed Pontus within two years. So it's four turns. I hit all their cities at once with giant armies like this, and completely messed them up. Here's Alexander the Great leading my troops. Once again, Bella's map pack mod. So, I don't think it's really called a mod. It's more like a... Friendly guide to Bella's map mod pack. Pack mod. Whatever. Okay, we're gonna group up these guys. Will let me. We're gonna take it off. Triple speed. It says my troops are winning even though they've marched. Ah, whatever. This battle's gonna be over fast anyway. So we're gonna slowly advance. Move my elephants to the left. Those chariots too. They've got two units of very annoying chariots. My cataphracts are gonna run disruption behind their lines, and then my great cavalry. They're gonna hold up the chariots or attempt to. My formation looks like right now. Ooh, that would have been dangerous. Watch all my elephants die because of my pikes. It sometimes happens, sometimes doesn't. I mean, I ran my Greek cavalry through my lines and they all died. Looks like they're attempting to draw. Oh no, I'm not sure. Looks like it went wrong. Anyway, I'm just gonna mess up all their spear guys. These armies are big, they're just not good. Wow, we're. I lose some guys back? No. And before I lose all my cataracts, I'm gonna get them out of there. I'm run my cataracts sideways. Meanwhile, my elephants are just. I don't know. Maybe I rushed this battle too much. I should be using my own Okay, well, I just lost a lot of elephants, which is a lot of money to me. I don't know. I'm kind of rushing. I kind of want to get this battle over with. I really don't like Connus. Anyway, well, they're going to meet the grand phalanx of Alexander the Great. And the guys in the jam is going to be the first ones to find out how bad it is. Units, 
Meanwhile, my elephants have recovered somewhat. And my elephant there just flipped out and killed some of my cataphrys. I've got to start doing some wise tactics right now. Use some good tactics because right now... Dang it, why are my elephants crazy? Catch them in these not formations, not bands, not phalanxes. And now these stupid chariots want to go. Okay, I just took some captions on that. Oh, that's my general. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's my general. God, I'm having trouble controlling my units. Now, unfortunately for these guys, the pajamas, I'm gonna hunt them down and kill them all. I don't think anyone won this battle. I lost my elephants, which were supposed to do good, but it actually sucks. It's only those pajama guys. I thought my cataphracts could take on pajama guys. I'm gonna get this battle trying to cut down the as enemy's as I hearts can. are full of fear, and now they flee. <laughs> my elephants are chasing those guys. Can you imagine being chased by an elephant? They're trying to stomp me. The better cataracts could just chase them off the field. Not like Peltas are a big deal, but. Oh, I didn't even use my Greek cat. Well, the important thing is, my general is standing there. Unhappy over taking all this bodyguard, but he is lucky. I had no idea why my general charged without orders into their cavalry right here. Um, not much to say right now, just hiding down what's up to Parthena. Ponus, my bad. Hiding down what's up to Ponus. And this is not really a setback. I mean, I'm, I haven't really been focusing. Well, okay, what's, okay, we're still hunting down those guys that won't die. This is a heroic yeah, victory, worthy of Greek soldiers. Oh, I mean, I lost a lot of couches that I can easily replace. However, my elephant units that died. Go look at them. Where's my general's bodyguard lost his, two of his experience, so that really, that bites. My elephants still didn't. I don't know. It says there's still some alive, so. I guess that's good that they didn't all die. They just. I got to just um, use this hammer and whack them on the head. Or they did something where their elephants went berserk and they started running through their own troops. They went, um. They'd kill them by hitting them on the head. And so now my wounded Our army's gonna go back. Yes, I'm definitely gonna run. say. Wow, my general next turn is going to have so many guys guarding him. I need to make a more well-rounded army, I would say. And if we go over to Turkey right now... Interesting. I got two generals here. I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a little cheat. I'm gonna say this is a Susan Empire. I'm gonna auto resolve it. And just in case I lost, I would have loaded it up again. Okay, because Parthena is really making. Oh, I keep saying Parthena, I don't know why. Seems like we have no military buildings here whatsoever. 
I just haven't focused on this because I haven't seen any of it. I mean, it's been like no attention, and now Parthenel wants it, and which is really annoying. I mean, it's frustrating. Need to retrain my pikemen because I'm using like I'm not even using good troops here. I'm trying to negotiate an alliance with the Greeks or something. So both sieges have been lifted. Alcanarsis is expanded. I already got that. Um, Thrace has been destroyed. Not a big deal. I'm gonna lead that siege in a little bit. Commanders, commanders. Bunch of stuff for no reason. This is like my golden army here. Like, I want to give them more XP. I don't know how. I want a gold one. We got a lot of silver. Let's see. I'm gonna make an archer unit, a phalanx unit, and another archer unit to bolster up my army. Is that it's Carthaginian? It's important to make an alliance with Carthage right now. Because, um, if I do, then, oh, that actually worked. Okay, and then if I do, then I don't have to worry about them harassing me. And my spy kicked out. A giant pirate navy's in front of me. Our ships are under attack! It's gonna be close, and we won again. Except they sunk one of my ships, then it's so XP. Our ships are under attack! Oh my gosh. Pi oh my god, there's another pirate one. Okay. Micromanaging your navy. Here's the tutorial course. These people aren't happy because I just banned all their troops. Did I make stuff to make them happy though? Oh my god, I must have. I'm gonna make it a grow a balance policy to make them happier to lower the tax rate. And I'm also gonna make walls. So there's a giant pirate navy there that's just way new attack me again. Ready. I'll lose more ships. Time to attack, attack Egypt. Kill them, of course. Victory! Get my fleet in the port yes, sir. and retrain them. And also need to construct another another group of ships. Now I wonder. Ooh, I can I can play dirty with my diplomat. That that doesn't really sound right. I'm gonna bribe these little Egyptian armies I find in the field. How to move, sir? And bribe them. My lord. I'm gonna move east and look for a city. I know there's one somewhere along here. Yes, master. Moving. No there it is. I'm gonna look at that city, and I might have to. There's a ton of peltas. I really want to take it, but I have to make sure my border is secure. I'm trying to make people really happy and my my Egyptian my Egyptian subjects must be very happy with me. Okay, still making troops. My general has led this. Two turns until surrender. I'm I'm kinda starving them out, so I don't have to fight as many of them. How big is that army? Okay, I wanna make more troops, like if I make some let me pikemen, then I'll be okay. Seems like my cities in the east are don't get as much attention, and that's true. I mean, look at all that shipping we're going back and forth. That doesn't know anything I'm saying. Okay, we're gonna end the turn again, and then one turn away, and Egypt should be dead pretty soon. Oh, the factionaires come to fight. Well, I'm gonna give them a battle. So this should be one of the last battles in the Egyptian campaign. I will conquer Thebes next, and then Egypt will be destroyed. That should be the end of the campaign. I might continue if I get bored. But I kind of want to do a medieval Total War 2 campaign. I don't know. Put a comment on the video if you would like me to do a medieval Total War common, uh, campaign. And then if you would like me, which factions be. Okay, another weird looking battlefield that looks like dusk, high noon. Kinda looks like Southwest USA a little bit. So we're taking no chances, we're gonna keep our army together, it's a little bit smaller. 
The ferryman will be busy today. And the enemy have bought more I'm men to keep fight. My guys, like this. I take them back. I'm gonna move up my my group. But um, I'm gonna be very careful because the second these guys get away, I'm gonna get rid of their slingers. I don't need me taking unnecessary losses. Okay, these slingers are dead. I'm gonna kill all of them. Egypt can't really afford. I mean, they're they just been. They just got thrashed, they had all these armies and they were attacking me. And yeah, they don't really have anything anymore. They're just to ensure these guys don't retreat in the city. They came out to fight, we'll give them a fight. Looks like we're being shot. I didn't see oh they have archers. They don't look like they had archers earlier. Seems like all the chariots I fight have archers. My archers are also shooting at them, so I'm just making sure these guys don't get off the field. Uh, I'm me. I gotta get these guys back to my line, because they've gone way too far away. And they ran all over the field, because these guys can run fast. But we've got a horse. I'm just gonna run and attack these skirmishers and try to get them off my back. That was the first unit in their city. Looks like my archers are doing some exchanging missiles. Unfortunately, we're getting flanked. So I'm gonna move my guys to support my flank. Probably go after those guys. Yeah. Greek cavalry right now is a, a new assignment. We're gonna head off these guys. I think they'll actually be destroyed if they don't think because they can't withdraw because they how do you call it? Um got out of the city. Try to break the siege, sapped out. Okay, we got our stuff down, we're chasing the Egyptian chariot guy. I think they'll get off the field. I oh, know, I just feel kinda like I'm control manning my troops today. Looks like all their chariots got stuck on this when I wasn't watching. They think I'm gonna let them get. They think I'm gonna let them hurt my archers. They got nothing coming. Boom. My archers shot some shots into them. And then we engage. The enemy army is in flight! I was telling them they were like not continuing. Drive them from the battlefield! I really do need to continue it. Get rid of these troops now. And then. Should I go for the skirmishers? Whatever, I don't like skirmishers more than peasants. Peasants are okay. They don't really bug me. I mean, I love it when they're chariots. Just, they just run into my stuff for no reason. Okay, maybe I can get both their peasants. I'm gonna go after their peasants too. 
and I'm just trying to hunt down all the Egyptians I can. But it was really just a sad... It was really just a sad way Egypt tried to play. Like, they weren't very cunning or anything. They're just... I don't know, they tried to relieve their siege of one of their last cities. Now they've got, like, no military left. And then I killed another Egyptian army. Great, 500 guys. These were the guys inside the city. I only got 23 guys left. So I do believe I will capture the last Egyptian city in Palestine. And that'll be very nice. I mean, if you look at the history, Egypt and the Hitty Hittites from Haiti. Victory! Haiti? Or, Victory and whatever. Honor! The point is, Egypt and how like, where Jerusalem was is a buffer zone, and Armenia is now attacking me. I don't know why. Did we do something to like make the whole Middle East really bad? Okay, I'm gonna save this just in case. Agent found. The Greek city-states are spying on me, not my loyal allies. I might need to take that sometime. And I'm working on being able to train military now. In this place, in the city. Like, happiness can wait. We need to train some military. And my walls are starting to go up all around my towns when I can make it. Um, definitely I need a... I could definitely use a wall here. They keep attacking me and being very mean. It's not very nice either. I'm going to recruit some archers. Retrain these guys first. I got rid of that settlement. It looks like we've taken the settlement. So all they've got left is that guy. They're gonna pursue him out in the desert. And pursue him again. And kill him hopefully. Of course we can kill him. Yes, my lord. Yes, master. Okay. I shall speak with them at I'm gonna bribe these guys, no matter how much it takes. Okay. There goes the last one of the last Egyptian armies off the field. Yes, master. And because this is my to territory now, I'm gonna go bribe the rebels. How to move, sir. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's go bribe the rebels down there. There. Time to kill them. Diplomats are very important, especially in medieval Total War Two. Like. You have to be loyal with the Pope, and he doesn't like you, and then you vote against him, and he becomes Pope, and then he hates you. Dang it, they just built walls, didn't they? Sir! Yes, Stratigos! Yes, Stratigos! Yes, Stratigos! I'm sending my silver army to go deal with them. Attack! Besieging settlement, sir! I'm hoping they have some Settlement room for somewhere so I can find an open field. Ooh, there's the Numidians. So that's the last Egyptian city, and then I believe I win the campaign. I'm still making cataphracts up here. I do need to retrain them, though. I kind of need to attack at the, the heart of... Hey, I got a lot of troops here. I need to attack at the heart of them. Next turn, I'm going to launch an invasion of Pontus and take this nearest Pontiac city. Pontic city. Pontiac's car. I mean, I know Greeks are getting their butt kicked by Macedon. I mean, it's pretty obvious. I need to build the walls there, too. And I need to get my people inside the city because that guy retreated. And it looks like the pirates are actually making me mad. I'm gonna have to build some ships for no reason in the middle of this port for no reason whatsoever. It looks like I'm gonna make a maybe rebel if I get more spies in there and Swaiwa, Ziwa. Yeah, I went all the way to there. Defeat imminent. The Julia are about to claim victory. 
So am I. No, my faction leader died in Souza. It's interesting, I have these giant armies that I don't even pay attention to all over the place. Okay, like I promised, this turn I will Sir, my lord. send some of my good cavalry. Ooh, gold upgrades. Nice. How do they have gold upgrades? I don't even have a freaking blacksmith. Anyway. Okay. My lord. Send my cataphracts out. My lord. Bring them right there. Move Move depleted, sir. Bring some of my Orders. best infantry. Orders. My lord. Orders. We're going on a crusade Orders. right now to take yes, down those really Johnny annoying Morse. troops there that keep attacking. No oh, I can make epic stone. No, wait, those are large. Not epic. Close, though. Looks like I've got a lot of trade going around. To make sure nothing Ramming happens to my speed. trade, I'm gonna kill these pirates. Looks like both Victory! of their ships sunk. I'm gonna yes, use sir. my ships there for a second. Am I recruiting? No, I'm not recruiting any more ships. ships okay, we are gonna start sailing Set, and sir. looking for no more, moves, no more Egyptian sir. ports to blockade. I'm just gonna patrol Set, around sir. the middle of my my empire. And I'm gonna I shall bribe these guys. Six thousand bucks is a lot for those rebels, but I'm too lazy to deal with them. I shall speak with them at once. I will demand a city. No, I'm not giving you a city. I'm demanding a city. Paz is really pathetic. They've got like no cities. I'm just gonna get that one. I'll give you map information and a ceasefire. How about map information? And I'll give you map information. Oh well, they probably don't know I have a giant army coming to kill them. Oh, speaking of my diplomat. Yes, my lord. I shall speak to get these guys off my land. Now, if it's $50,000. Okay, not too bad. Okay, there goes those guys. Ooh! Yes! I actually get them. Yay! I'll put them in this city. And then disband the peasants. Now nah, I don't need to disband them. This is about to become big. This is a minor city too, so. Okay. As you can see, I have the whole Middle East right now. I did spend some money on getting rid of rebels, but. This whole, like, black area, like. This whole, like, dark area of fog and war, where I don't have any contact with. I think it's technically. Yes, my animal. territory. Hold on, is that that's their city? That must be their capital. March. Pontus, March. this March. might be a lot easier to overthrow you than I thought. Now I'm gonna get some mercenary, mercenary troops, including cavalry, archers. Attack. So it looks like my next turn, we're definitely gonna, we're gonna fight it out. Why you might ask? Why well, I haven't killed Egypt? I'm just besieging them, lonely. They're very lonely because they're being besieged. Your I shall speak with them at once. Gonna bribe a little army. Okay, Egypt's got nothing left but what's under siege, and my ship's moving into my part, and I'm attacking Pontus, or attempting to attack Pontus. I wonder how many see, like, how do you say, I wonder how many, five more turns to hold out. Orders, prepare for battle! Wait, I was gonna auto resolve it. I win, I, don't, I really don't like, I, I'll do sieges, I just really don't like fighting wall sieges. And that's victory on part 14. Even though my parts are longer now. My guy looks Greek. 
Today, this is an empire can celebrate thanks to your noble leadership. Better still, the, the death worshipped and unnatural Egyptians are gone to their ancestors, and may they have much joy of it. Well, I'm gonna continue playing and save it. I'm gonna exterminate the population. Recruit. And speaking of, where's my general that's making his way down here? Sir, forward! No more moves, sir! Okay, I'm gonna go take a break from Egypt destroyed. I'm gonna save this game as I'm gonna show you. Save game. I'm gonna take a quick tour around what's happening. Not in caps. For some reason it didn't recognize my command. Now it did. It said Julii was about to claim victory. And let's look at the Julii. They have to claim all of Gaul dead. And Gaul still got a lot of troops, a lot of cities left. For some reason, they have actually attacked Spain, and when you just let, if you let Britannia just take over the world, that's what they've done. They, they're completely wrecking Germania right now. Germania's only got that settlement and that one. And I'm trying to get these out of the way. Okay, they've got um, all that. As you can see, my money went back up too. And then they said Broody, I was about to claim victory, and I can believe that. Look what Broody I did. I mean. I think Macedon's extinct, actually. Wow, I didn't realize Broody I was that close. All Greece is God is that city, which I'm gonna take anyway. Unless faction leader, they have a faction heir floating around somewhere. Ooh, they got kicked out of um, I kicked out of their little city with no garrison whatsoever. I don't know. I definitely said Broody has close victory because all I have to do is conquer that city and they win, but it's on my territory. So let's look at what Pontus has. They've got little ban little banner armies. I call them banner armies because they're really small. They don't have anything really, just a bunch of units I can kill. A big army there, but keep in mind these big armies are only pajama troops. Eastern infantry as I call them. So you'll probably call them. Numidia has troops here and I have a spy in. And that's all they've really got. Rebels here. That they're completely isolated from their homeland. So I can probably take that. Let's go to Parthena really quickly. Parthena at the top has an army. I have no idea what it is. And Armenia has fairly decent, kind of decent armies. I mean, I'm just going to knock Pontus out of the picture and then wreck Armenia and Parthena, but not today. Okay, why to do that? Okay, this is Kali Foreman two two one signing off. Hope you've enjoyed this Lucid Empire campaign.